you're a fly. I thought you were a stink bug. The stink bugs are starting to uh, find homes to die in, I guess. Now, I gotta have this light, but do I have to have it so bright? I need the light, but where can I put it so that uh, neither one of us are getting blinded by it? Blinded by the light. Oh, I gotta go up in the attic, but I'm not gonna do that. So he gets home. Do I gotta waddle up the ladder? Waddle up the ladder, you say? I'm thinking if I get this light, well, the light that I thought I had in my hand. Boy, am I losing it. Here we go. If I can get this light further away. Yeah, that may work. How's that, I wonder? How's that, my fine fellow friends? My fine feather of friends. Well, that's good, I think. However, this camera doesn't look up like the other one do. So you may not see. Do you see what I see? I don't know. something that would work. I think, I think this is going to work. Whoop. It will work if I can get that popped a little bit. Like you really need to see this. I think you're seeing that. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Alright, I can't do anything here just yet. However, let's take these out of the way for a minute. There. Okay, now, if you can see here, there's the red one, and that's feeding the bottom side. And here's the black one, which is feeding the top. So the top one here. Now, he had 12 gauge coming in from the house, uh, hanging overhead, two leads. Yeah, he only had two leads. He didn't have a ground out here. I brought the ground in, the copper. Um, so he had the two leads, and he had them on the, um, oh, shit. They used to call it the something knob. Uh, I forget now. Anyway, there was one in the house with an insulator, and that was about a foot away from the other one, which was the other, uh, the black or the white, whatever. And they both came across individually and then to the knob on this side. And uh, that's what they came in on. So he only had 12 gauge coming into the house or into the shop. So by me having 12, all I did was copy his, uh, but put the fuse box in mine. So this 12 uh, is basically the same size as what he used in this whole old shop area. And they used this as a house, you gotta remember, so. But, um, 
So now the other one, the red wire, is going to do the same thing, but that's going to be tied in to the other breaker, the other box, the box that I brought in. So we're going to have two separate uh, amperages coming in here from two separate places, uh, which is okay because they're isolated. So anything on the bottom will be off of the red wire, which we're going to treat it as a hot, and that'll be down there. And then the tops will be the original, you know, which was the shop area. So that's what we're going to do with that. Now, I drilled, or did I not drill the hole in this one yet? No, I didn't. I got to drill a hole over here because I want to ground these right to the box. Uh, I can use these, but I really don't want to get, I just don't do it here and I know what I have. Uh, but I need to get these wires a little bit longer, so I gotta go in the attic for that. So let me get these off of here because when I go up in the attic, I need to use this ladder. Uh, other than the other one. So we can take you off for now. Get out of there. Okay. So I put this little piece of wood here just real quick just so that uh, you guys can go swimming. Boing, 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 boing. Anyway, uh, that's where you are. And then I'll just unscrew it when I'm done. But what I want to do, what I want to do is... Uh, well, I'm waiting for the wife. Let's go over here for a minute. Because I got that floodlight, the go light that I repaired uh, some time ago. Well, uh, I walked all the way around to get over here. I've got it hooked up here, but I have it hooked up with just a couple of real thin wires. So I have to get it on, on there directly. So... Let me uh, plug this in. There we go. Uh, see how I have it? And that is not the way I need it. That feeds that light out there. So without that being hooked up correctly, it's not going to have what little voltage it needs. Yeah, this is working nice. Nice, nice. Okay. It's a little chilly out today. It's like 51. And uh, compared to what we had, that's a little chilly. All right, now, what do I have here? Do I have enough to bring it right to? Yes, I do. So let me just get... What do I need here? I need a, um, well, I can do this two ways. Uh. This is all 12 volt here, so we don't have to concern ourselves with it too much. Get that out of the way for now. This is a battery charger that I have set for two amps, and it's on a timer. So what it does is it kicks in, if I remember right, well now it only kicks in once. It kicks in for like 10 minutes, about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, just to make sure that these are okay. In the winter time, I'll have it kick in twice uh, for 10 minutes because the panel works with light. Well, it works better with sun, but sometimes when the snow's on it and things, it kind of waits. Uh, the snow doesn't stay for long, but it does do what it has to do. All right, so we're tied in there. So I can probably just get the, uh, put it right there with a washer, and that'll work. Yeah, okay, let me go get the screw gun. And I got to build a cover, uh, not a cover, but a, uh, well, either a cover with a vent, so these vent out, 
or a cover or a case or something so I can put them out. I don't like to keep them out, out, only because the cold weather brings them down fast. And, uh, Oh, here it is. The cold weather brings them down faster, so it's one of those things to where uh, I just don't keep them inside, but I'd like to have some protection over them. Okay. I need too big, too big, too big. Well, where are those? Too big. Here we go. Take one of these. I gotta get over to Branford Lumber. Branford Lumber's cheaper than, uh, than, uh, tractor supply and and all of them when it comes to small washers and small screws you can buy them individually or by the hundred uh, if you buy them individually though you end up spending quite a few bucks But if you pull the draw all the way out, you'll see that they have the uh, 100 count. And you could buy 100 of them for like three or four bucks, so they're definitely, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. See, now this is wrong, because normally black would be the hot. But I just ran it as a ground. There. I'm going to change this too someday. This doesn't draw a lot of amps, believe it or not. You think it would for the power that it has as far as the brightness, but it, uh, it really doesn't. these back up just to have them on here for a little backup I just noticed I'm gonna have to clean these batteries I got one back here that's got some corrosion on them I haven't checked these in about oh well let me see well I checked them about this time last year so uh, but that one now see that's when I normally ran uh, group 31's uh, 12 uh, 12 volt deep cycle I was thinking about well let me see if this shows one with a label on it uh, this may or may not show let me see no this doesn't show it there not on the other side either will this one show it I can't see that, but I think that's cold crank. I'm not looking for cold crank, and I'm not looking to start anything with it. I'm looking for reserve. Uh, this one doesn't show it here, but it does show it on one of the side labels. This is 210 amp uh, reserve power, or standby, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I normally run um, six of these. I had 12 of them when I was running the wind turbine out on the other side, but three of them, you know, or not three of them, uh, six of them had gone dead over the time, uh, as this one is starting to look pretty shitty. So, and these are just ones I throw on. 
However, that big battery is only as good as the smallest one that's here. Right now, that big battery is no better than the smallest because this whole bank, it depends on, upon the weakest. This battery, if this battery charges up to its capacity first, that one will stop. That's only going to charge up as high as the capacity on this one. If I charge them up separately and they're disconnected, it'll be different. But because they're, they're all tied in together, they charge as one. Now, I was thinking about going with the 6 volt next time. Because you put two 6s together. And, for instance, you take uh, a 6 volt. Uh, and I like deep cycle because they keep, they keep taking the... Uh, the charge. Oh, wait a minute. Let me wipe some acid on my pants. Turn that heater off. Uh, they keep taking the charge without uh, ruining them and ruining them as fast. But you take well six or twelve. It does this deep cycle. But. Uh, if you'd find a 6 volt, for instance, that has 200 amps, hypothetically, uh, and you take two of them, put them together, now you got 12 volts, but you also have double the standby, the uh, the amp hours. So you, that's why you see a lot of 6 volt, bang, bang, bang. Not so much because of the voltage, because it's what it is, uh, but it's because of the, the reserve. Uh, but those batteries, I gotta go through them, gotta clean them down, gotta check the water, or at this point, maybe a little acid, and uh, try to get through the winter with them. I mean, some of them are so good, but like I say, they're all acting as one, so the smallest one is, you know, they're all acting as a small one. So, I could put one this big in there and not get anywhere with it. Well, there you are, little fella. Are you going to find a home? No? Okay. Uh, come on, wifey. Let me turn you guys off for a minute.